Hello, my name's Andy Fennick Green and welcome to my short introduction to the Blue T AT300 and the B300 battery. It's an introduction by an actual user. This is part two of a two part little series introduction. I hope you enjoy it. So here we have the Blue T AC300 3000 watt inverter and solar generator. Now this is the workhorse of your system and this in the sense this is where all your devices are going to be connected and here as we can see at the front the six AC connectors your 240 volt connectors in and as you can see I'm currently running four feeds in which is mainly doing my Sky TV and my Xbox and whatnot and my various Wi-Fi routers and whatnot and we generally pull it in as we can see on the display about 130 watts and I have it connected up to one B300 3072 watt hour battery now that's pretty much given me more than a day's supply of running all this equipment in this particular room I utilise the system to charge via a EV cheap tariff that we have. So from 9.30 at night to half past two in the morning, we go on to a cheaper rate of electricity at just 8.25p a kilowatt. So this allows me to charge the B300 up at night time in them hours. And also, because you can run the device and charge it at the same time, also during those hours, we run the AC side of things from the grid and the, the, the device intelligently knows that you don't want to take it from battery. So the battery is charged and sits lovely there at 100% and then come half past two, it switches off from charging on the grid and starts to use the battery to continue to run in standby all the various items. And of course, through the day, just as we got now, we're utilising the daily power. So instead of paying 38 pence a kilowatt hours, I'm effectively paying my 8.25p. So it's saving me a pretty tidy package. And this is how this system eventually will pay for itself. Yes, it might take a few years, but these are the latest tech we've got in battery. And the Life Pro 4 battery packs have got a lifetime of 10 years with three and a half thousand cycles and still have only have lost 20 percent of its capacity so you know just from that it's still going to have a, a far long useful life going forward for probably at least another 10 years and still and more and so this has got a payback factor of certainty unless something really goes wrong now, if you add in your solar panels as well, now I also have a, a, a three PV350, but uh, weather's not brilliant today, so I've not popped it out. Uh, and we are looking to set up some rigid panels with that, which of course you can use if you follow the basic maximum requirements. So as I say, we have the two wireless socket ports on the top. So just pop your Y phones or Samsung phones and the like. You also have your DC outputs, as we mentioned, and you also have some smaller DC, USB Cs, and USB A DC outputs. But of course, you've got your big bank of AC, 240 volts, three pin plug sockets that we use in the UK. And of course, this is your B300 battery. Which, again, what I found. because of this modular system, it's brilliant in the sense that you can actually use the battery independently from the AC300 because you have a DC socket, 12 volts, 10 amp socket on there as well, as well as USB-C and I've got a USB-A. And you have a little display just to show you how the battery state is, as well as an on-off button for the DC supply on that side 
So you have numerous ways that this can be utilised. You have two carry handles and you have some open inlets either side. Now, considering the size of this, when this is charging, it really is quiet. Far quieter than I ever expected, to be quite honest. So I'm really impressed with that. And I'm really pleased of a good investment in this. Now, to connect your battery and other batteries, when if you wish to extend them, because this can take four B300s, giving you a maximum of 12 point two eight eight watt hours twelve thousand two hundred and eighty eight watt hours of battery through four of the batteries and they're connected up in banks so you connect two batteries together and link it into this port the other two and link it into that port giving you your twelve thousand two hundred and eighty watt hours total which I consider myself as a heavy user of electricity and we generally sit between 9 and 11 and a half kilowatt hours. So a system like that is more than enough to power your whole house supplies. Now to connect it, you obviously have your connector from battery to the AC300. But here you have your three connecting points, which are via aviation style connectors. You have your rather chunky, good quality AC connector cable. Now this can only be connected one way because of the, the prongs that you can see here and here and at the top. So it really can't be done incorrectly. And all you have to do, push the cable in and then just twist lock until it's fully secured. And then plug it in to your AC socket. I have mine on a, a delay timer, so it charges in the hours when I have the cheap rates. The other option is again, you have the DC charger, two MC4 connectors, so you can charge via your car, and you would utilize that with this next socket cable setup again it's the aviation style socket with two banks of the mc4 connectors and this is how you would connect your solar panels and the same principle again just connect up your solar panel cables i have mine here from the feed outside and i would just connect the two up together from red to red black to black and as I say, you can have two banks of that and then just connect your connector into the second socket on the AC300. And that will give you solar power free of charge from the beauty from the sun. And I did a quick test when I first got this set the other day and put the 350 up. Even though we have a low sun level at the moment this time of year, and straight away it jumps straight up to 318 watts of charge. So for a good few hours that afternoon, I got totally free energy courtesy of the sun and the facility brought to me via Bluetooth's AC300 and the B300 and the PV350 solar panels. So that's it. As I say, this is a great way to secure your supply of electricity in the future and to reduce your cost but not only that and the primary reason why we bought this as well this is a modular mobile sim system we have a ev van that we are turning into a camper van opportunity so we can go away from weekends away and we can take the battery system with us and the solar panels and we can be self-sufficient off-grid when we're out for the weekend with the dogs in the tent and whatnot totally free to go where we want without having to worry about how we're going to have energy it's a brilliant system and i love the portability fact of that but not only that the modular system is just brilliant and it'll allow me in time to control my supply of energy but not only that massively reduce my output 
the cost of energy use but it gives me the beauty of supportability and supplyability wherever I go, be it in the house or in my AV. It is such a multifunctional system and for the money, you can't go wrong. It is a beautifully well-made, solid devices with great support for warranty, four-year warranty. They're just holding their hands high to say we support this product. And all I've heard is good things about it. And not only that, that lifetime support you can always call back on. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, put a message in the comments and I'll uh, do my best to get back to you. And hopefully you'll see yourself why it's good to go down the Bluetooth route and secure your own energy f in the future. And let's fight back against this energy cap and these ridiculous price rises that we're seeing. Thanks for watching and I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or would like to see more or specific features, shoot me a message and I'll do my best to set the system up in the way that you wish to see it operating. Thank you for your time. Here you can see a shot from the other day on the screen when I was using my PV350 solar panel and I was pulling a few watts with a low load on the AC. To finish, here's a shot of the app in use and you can see that we're currently got an AC load of 323 watts and my battery is at current state of 26%. That's the end of part two of this two-part series on an introduction to, on the Blue T AC300 and B300 battery by an actual user. I hope you found it of use and we're able to take some interesting points forward to help your choice going forward in the future. You won't regret it. And just look at the money you'll save in time. Thanks for watching.